All right, it's 10.20 p.m. Thursday, November 12, 2020. Um, I gotta say, guys, let me tell you something. Well, I'm looking for a glasses cleaner. Hold on. It feels so weird to walk in my room and actually see a somewhat clean room. I will finish the bed and the vanity area I'm about to show you in the next week or so, but uh, that's after I go through everything and all that junk, so yeah. So, let me show you from the door. And look, a spotless doorway. I know. That stuff's going to stay there for now. Um, the vanity area is a mess. Those are dirty and clean clothes. This big-ass white basket's dirty. That's how much laundry I gotta conquer. But, unfortunately, on the weekends, it's a house rule. Only stepmother gets to use the washing machine. Which is a fucking stupid ass rule because she only does two loads. It only takes one hour per wash and one hour per dry. Two dries, that's what, six hours in total? Yeah, I'm setting you guys down for a minute. I'm actually awaiting the release of the album Power Up by ACDC. Like many fans are. Oh boy, hold on, I dropped something. I actually cannot wait. It's like something that I've been waiting for since I was literally in my teens. <laughs> no, yeah, sounds about right. I was about, let's see, 2018, I was, no, I was 18, sorry, 20. So yeah, I was 20. I'm about to be 23 in May, so... Yeah, about a good three years. And it's a dream of mine to see them with um, Brian Johnson and Phil Rudd. Originally, I was going to say Malcolm Young, but we all know due to unfortunate circumstances, he is no longer with us. But he is watching over us from rock and roll heaven. I just know he is, because he's not a bad guy. He's a good guy. I don't know him as a person, but... I knew he was a good guy. I'm sure. Everyone who's ever met or encountered Malcolm, even if they got to talk to him for a minute, they said that was one of the best minutes of their lives, was speaking to Malcolm Young of ACDC. Because off stage, he didn't act like he was the great Malcolm Young. He was just regular Malcolm Young, a very humble guy from Glasgow, Scotland based in Sydney, Australia, which is good. You never forget where you're from, but you can always enjoy where you live. Like, I never forgot I was from South Carolina originally. I don't think I ever will, even if I become a rocker. And I move, for example, to Amsterdam or Miami, because I love the beach. I know Amsterdam is not related to the beach, but I like the Netherlands too, okay? I got family that lives there, and... There are many different attractions to the Netherlands other than what you guys were thinking. I'm thinking about going there for, so you know. Hold on, I'm playing uh, Carmet's Classic Lip Balm, medicated, because my lips, they are chapped. The last few days I've been trying to use Carmex on my lips at least twice a day because they have been chapped as crap, literally. I know that almost rhymed chapped as crap, but that's actually true. They've been very, very chapped. Hold on. Okay, I was reaching for my phone charger and my auxiliary, not auxiliary, but my um, charger for my speaker here. I leave them plugged in beside my bed because I use my speaker on the daily. 
And it's used for something else that I'm not going to talk, talk about, but I did want my phone charger because I do want to charge my iPod for when power up comes out in a couple of hours so we can literally say I'm about to power my iPod up. Look here. Instantly, it's powering up. Pun intended. This is an old iPod, but, um... I mean, I like it. It's not a bad one. I'm not gonna say it's a bad iPod, but it's not the best one on the market. It's not the newest. I don't need the newest of the new. But if it works, it works. I mean, the fact that it stopped getting updates kind of upsets me, but yeah, it works. Great, other than that. Still powering up. It's been dead as a doornail for about two days. I like these 10 foot long chargers. Uh, I got an, I think that's a 10 foot long right there too. So I got about three of these fuckers in my room. I got one literally over there by the cat bowl. That's where I used to charge my phone at night for school. Oh, um, when I went to school here. So that when I would turn the alarm on, on my phone, I wouldn't be tempted to hit snooze. I would actually have to physically get up and walk across the room to turn the phone off. And by then, I'd already be awake enough to get ready for school. And by then, I'd be ready to go to school and just get the day over with. So, yeah. Okay, so. There we go. It's powering up for real now. I keep intending not to do that, but you know what? It's just so easy to use that fun... For real. I mean, really. That's like a really cool way to say power up. Of course, when you think ACDC, because clearly it stands for alternating current, direct current, it stands for power up too. So yeah, I'm going to log off now. It is now 10.27pm. I'm going to play some video games maybe. Until further notice, the comments are disabled. Some asshole keeps commenting nasty and inappropriate things. I don't support that, so yeah. Alright, if you're new, please subscribe. Um, hit the like button. Have a great day. And I will keep you updated on my room. I'm not the neatest person in the world, so it will never be, like, amazingly neat, like, the neatest room in the world you'll ever see. But it will be perfect. For me. Anyways. Alright. Bye.